All right. So something that's going to come up later on in a couple sections is uh, computing indefinite integrals. So the, I, I like calling these sort of partial integrals. Just like you had partial derivatives where you differentiate with respect to one variable, you can also have sort of a partial integral where you integrate with respect to only one variable. So what does this look like? Right? So let's compute the integral of 12xy cubed with respect to y. All right, so 12xy cubed dy. Well, remember what we were doing in computing double integrals is when we integrate this, we pretty much just pretend x is a constant and integrate y. So we should get then 3xy to the fourth, right? Because remember, if you take the derivative here, it ignores x, the 4 comes out and makes the 12, and then the y to the fourth drops to y cubed. But now if you remember when you did indefinite integrals before, you had a constant of integration. Now here's where the little difference comes in. It's no longer just a constant. It's a constant as far as y is concerned. Now remember, as far as y is concerned, x is a constant. So what we really have to add in here is not just a constant, but some arbitrary function of x, right? And that's very important, that this is an arbitrary function of x, right? So I just wanted to point out real quick that this will show up and this is how it's done, right? We'll see a little bit more of this later.